Hey girls, it's Friday. Yeah, we're supposed to be talking about the uh, movie this week. Um, so I actually went at midnight um, on Thursday last week to see it. I don't know. I don't have too much to say that hasn't, you know, already been said at this point, but I don't know. I really, I mean, when the movie was first over, I was really confused and I was kind of just like, uh, I don't even have an opinion right now. I was so like, I, I, I don't even know. It left me very unsure of what I even thought. Um, after I thought about it for a little while, I decided I, I definitely liked it. Um, it's, it's just kind of awkward to see it with other people because, like, you don't read the book with other people and it's kind of, like, meant in that, like, that same kind of thing. I have comments on a few specific things, though. Um, like, the, uh, the face that he makes when, um, when Bella walks into the bio room. And, I mean, I know a lot of people have talked about this, but the face to me, personally, doesn't really say, oh my god, I want to eat you and I have to stop myself. It's like, oh my god, someone just vomited on the desk in front of me. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> and I don't, um, I don't know about that face. Also, all the tree stuff, I didn't really like that. I didn't think it was done very well, most of it. Like, the jumping from tree to tree was not... It was like... I didn't like it. I didn't like that part. Um, was not a fan of the lullaby. I thought... I mean, I'd heard it before the movie came out, but I thought maybe, you know, once I saw it in the movie, it would be better, it would make more sense, but I really just didn't like the lullaby. I don't know, I feel like they took a lot of stuff out that they had shown us even, like, in the trailers and, and all that stuff, like the, she's not one of us, Edward, and all that kind of stuff, like, that wasn't even in the movie, and I was kind of excited to see that. Um, and I didn't like when she, how Bella just, like, walks out of the hotel and, you know, Alice doesn't see anything, neither one of them smell anything, like, you know, she's just like, oh, okay, they're checking out of the hotel, let me just, uh, just, uh and shine out of here, like, and none of them even notices anything, you know, I don't know, I was kind of looking forward to the whole airport running out and being all sneaky seen, but it was kind of just like, eh, she left, no one noticed, I don't know, overall I felt like it was kind of rushed, like, they added stuff that didn't really need to be there, and the things that should have been longer, like, just weren't there at all, I understand how people who didn't read the book didn't like the movie, because it's like, oh, I want to kill you, and then, like, five minutes later, they're running around in the woods, and he's like, oh, I love you, bam. Like, I mean, it makes sense to people who've read the book, and it's good to people who've read the book, because they know, like, there there's more build-up in the book, so, like, it doesn't just jump from, like, look at my sparkles, meh, to I love you. <laughs> like, I don't know. I feel like they could have done the metal scene a little better, like, longer, and maybe closer to the book. I know they can't make everything exactly like the book, but I feel like that's something that could have been done more similarly, even if they couldn't, like, keep all the dialogue and all that stuff. This stuff I really liked, though, I liked the prom scene, except for when, um, the two, uh, other couples that were in the gazebo just, like, left in the middle of the song, like, sidled out really stealthily. They kind of just, like, stopped dancing and left. Also, I didn't like that Victoria was there. Um, because that's, I mean, he would have noticed. I've known about that particular part for a really long time. So it didn't catch me off guard or anything, but it still bothered me that she was there. Because, like, there's no way he wouldn't have known she was there. The baseball scene was awesome. The baseball scene was so good. And I love Jasper's little, like, line after Victoria's like, Ooh, I'm the one with the wicked curveball. Like, I think we can handle that, or whatever it is he said. I really liked that. Um, with his southern accent, it was so cute. And I really liked, well, I thought it was a really awkward scene. I really liked the, um, like, kitchen when they're making Bella dinner. And then, like, Alice comes in and she's like, we're going to be great friends. And everyone's just like, okay, I'm going to go.
go now. It was, like, uncomfortable, but I thought it was kind of funny. Um, out of all the things I could have added, like, I liked that. Um, kind of, like, Midnight Sun, her knowing that they're going to be friends and all that stuff, and I liked that. Um, I'm actually going to watch the movie again tonight, probably. So I, uh, yeah, I've only seen it once because I have not been able to get to the theater um, again since I saw it at midnight. But um, it was overall very good. Though I must say when the Half-Blood Prince trailer came on before the movie, I was very upset. So that's what I think about all this movie stuff. Didn't really have too many opinions. I liked it. Some weird acting and some weird directing stuff, but overall I liked it. So, that's not that for this week. I will see you guys next week.